Nope, 50 days without the radio, that's the rule. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I am your humble narrator, and welcome back to 60 Seconds. This is such a hard game. I'm going to show you how hard it is. We're going to go in the survival mode, which is a pre-stocked shelter, and we'll even go on easy mode. You start out with basically everything that you could want, and it's still going to go fucking horrible. Because this game is just brutal. It wants to brutalize you, is all it wants. It's horrible. <laughs> Look at all the shit we got, and I'm still not going to make it out of here. We all made it into the shelter. This is the best stocked shelter ever. Hooray! Okay, so they can last without water for four days. They'll start asking on day three, but you don't give it to them on day three. You gotta do it on day four. And eventually, uh, I'll fuck that up. <laughs> Planting fall ahead is usually a good strategy, but for now we should be more interested in our plan for water rationing, which I was just talking about. But thank you so much, Ted. Neighborhood is still highly radioactive. That's fine. <laughs> we need to sleep. No. Timmy's gonna need that health kit once he gets back from the wastes. Oh, look, everybody's so tired. Except for Timmy. Timmy can do it. Timmy will get his water now, because he's a good boy. And the rest of you wait! You just wait. Nothing as intense as what we did last night. It was crazy. We got ammo? Fuck yeah! It's quite a long walk from our house to the docks. We knew of a promising warehouse in the area. It survived the blast, but the sea wave drowned half of it. We were hoping it was the, wasn't the better half. We always thought canned soup was made in America. Apparently it's made in another country with a weird name that we didn't recognize. According to the crate's date stamp, the shipment came after the blast. Huh. Weird. Five soup cans. Water, water everywhere. Finding empty bottles to store there was not a problem. The problem was the water we filled them with was kind of salty. Oh, what are you doing? Don't do that. The half drown container in the back was labeled nothing important. It was full of ammo. Our gas mask was damaged. Everybody needs some food. Just plenty. We got fucking shit ton of food. There you go, guys! And, uh, I'll give you water on day eight. Area is still irradiated. Gas mask is not fixed. I'm actually gonna patch Timmy up. Because he's been a good boy. He brought us some good shit. And Timmy needs food. Timmy needs fod. He is Hungary. Area is still irradiated. Mmm, we'll wait. Wait, the radio's broken? This text log pops up and it's like, your radio's broken. Oh, now it's fucking broken. God damn it. Piece of shit. Wife, go outside. Do a thing. Mmm, Mary Jane keeps fainting. Oh, we sent her out without water. Whoops. That would be a good idea to take a quick look outside see if there's any trouble. So we're about to step out a pair of animal eyes flash in the darkness. I'm gonna pick flashlight for once. I don't want to break my gun. We decided to check what's coming for us with our flashlight. Guess what? It was a dog. The poor thing seems so tired, so we let it stay with us with us for the night. The next morning we open the door to let it out. It still hasn't returned. Oh, We'll miss you, Pooch. Oh, uh, we broke the radio because I'm fucking dumb. Should've said no, the stupid crap. It's not broken, there's just nothing broadcasting, fucker. Ah. Uh, I need these things. Oh, she's back. She got a fucking gas mask. She got a health kit. Didn't get no radio. That's fine, girl. I'm proud of you. We're first to trade. Hopefully it was the right choice, but the trader was not too happy. We're glad to see Dor Dolores come back. We found our way to a nearby hospital, which despite heavy structural damage is still standing. The site wasn't pretty, though. What used to be inside the hospital is now all, all over the place. Well, whatever survived the blast wave, anyways. There were plenty of bottles of liquid in one of the wards. Peroxide or not, water is water, and better... Beggars can't be choosers, so we're drinking seawater and peroxide. <laughs> God damn it. It wasn't hard to find a fully equipped first aid kit. After all, it's a hospital. One of the surviving hospital beds had a gas mask hanging on it, along with a note that read, Wear this. Patient smells really bad. <laughs> Mary Jane keeps fainting. Everybody needs water. Oh. 
Dolores needs to eat. Alright. Everybody gets food and drink. Good job, guys. I'll patch you right up. Our friend the dog is back! We raced open the door, not considering it might have been a mutated beast, but Luck smiled at us. The furry fellow seemed really tired and hungry. Should we feed him? Okay. We got a lot of soup. Look at that big old box of soup on the floor. That's right. That's all soup. Dog was back to his former self in under an hour. We don't know what they put in that soup, but man, that stuff is good. We decided the dog needed a name, and the right name for him was Pancake. Come here, Pancake. Who's a good boy? Pancake stayed around for a while, but was gone the next morning. We can bet he will be back. Timmy is fatigued. Ted is fatigued. Well, that's good. Nobody has to go outside. We decided to keep track of dates, but they don't add up. Luckily, Timmy remembered it's his birthday today. We should get him a present, or a cake, or both, so it's settled. We're making a soup cake, but what about the gift? You can have check us, boy. Hey, it's Pancake! Our friend is back, but he seems very nervous. He keeps barking and jumping. When we opened the door, he rushed out, only to come back a moment later and bark at us again. Maybe we should follow him. What gear should we take? And my axe! <laughs> I like this Pancake story thread. I haven't been through this one. A man with an axe is a fault to be reckoned with. These two thugs we ran into while following Pancake learned this the hard way. Pancake was a real hero too. He chased them off and nearly made one of them leave their trousers behind. Not that anyone wanted them. Yuck. Who would have guessed those two would have a respectable stash of water? Forget the trousers, they left a liquid fortune behind. And not in their trousers. <laughs> Pancake came back, but he's badly wounded. Some bastard was trying to catch him, or worse. We need to act fast and save him. Get the first aid kit. Fuck! Fuck! I feed this dog and I love this dog and you're just gonna kill him? God damn it. We didn't think anything would be worse than a nuclear bomb dropping on our heads. We were wrong. We buried Pancake next to the shelter in a nice place right under what used to be our white fence. God damn it. We had a thought about eating him. But there are some lines you don't cross, even in the most dire circumstances. You do not eat their friends. Your friends, even if they're pancakes. <laughs> Demanding a shit. Nope, 50 days without a radio, that's the rule. Don't you know the rule? This entire shelter's crawling with insects, or worse. It's worse, they're spiders! We've gotta do something! Get the book! The magic book! Oh, daughter, you made it back, and you also look sick. Oops. Good book is the solution to any problem. This includes marauding spiders. Oh, we also found a misplaced soup can. Mary Jane came back. We brought some strange-looking people back to our doorstep. They claimed to be wizards, and were willing to trade useful supplies in exchange for a few weird trinkets. After hearing them out, we decided to look around our shelters for the items they wanted. They really wanted us to sell us their radio. They claimed it was evil, and whispers about the return of the Dark Lord. We gave them a bottle cap. <laughs> nice! They're, we're almost certain there are bandits running around. Running into them would be a big mistake. That sounds kind of promising. <laughs> Someone's trying to break in and they're not alone. Here they come. Motherfuckers. <laughs> Defend your house and home! Take their life before they take yours. We were able to defend our home, but what if they come back? We can't leave Timmy without water for too long. Ted is hungry. We'll send the boy. He's injured anyways. It's gonna be fine. You can hobble away from those bandits. I believe in you, boy. Bandits! Fucking bandits everywhere! It's over. Fucking gonna break the gun, and it's gonna be over. We are able to defend our home! Good. Fucking just keep doing that. We are able to receive another message from the military. Just when we thought we might have a quiet day, we got invaded. A group of bandits is on the other side of the door demanding we walk out hands in the air or they'll get us in the hard way. That doesn't sound too good. What do we do? Shoot him back! Shoot him back, Tex! You can do it! That's right! We're able to defend our home this time. They'll be back. They are always coming back. Who should be the lucky one to venture out into the unknown? Ted's gonna go. It's gonna be a fucking hen house for a while, girls. Be good. Nothing new, nothing new. 
I need a fucking first aid kit. Real bad. Mary Jane's sickness got worse and we weren't able to provide her with medicines. She decided it's time to cure whatever she had on her own. She left a note saying she's not coming back since she never liked our town to begin with. We're able to defend our home this time. And Dolores is okay. So now it's just husband and wife, I guess. That's kind of nice, I suppose. <laughs> Go find an axe, Ted. He went out. He ain't coming back. No, he's coming back. It was very unwise of Ted to walk right into the hands of a gang of filthy bandits camped nearby. He's not coming back. God damn it. Drink up, Dolores. You're the only one left. Dolores is insane now, but that's okay. That's fine. We're here. There's been some radio chatter about airdrops from, from the military. Well, Ted had our fucking gas mask, and now the bandits have it, and they're gonna get the airdrop too. And I'm just gonna send Dolores outside. She needs to be free. She deserves it. We should have all been free the whole time. Goodbye, Dolores. Probably could have made it to like a hundred days, but what's the fucking point? I, like, I'm, I'm so frustrated with this game. Ah! I don't think it'll ever finish, so this will probably be my last episode for it. Um, I do have a couple new series in the works, as well as How to Survive Third Person uh, coming a little later this week. So I hope you guys will join me for whatever we decide to do next. This has been 60 Seconds. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. If you did enjoy, I hope you'll like, comment, and or subscribe. And until the next time, friends, bye bye One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.